What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Jalopy. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And I guess our granddad inspired us to, like, make a crappy car with our bare hands and then drive halfway across the Eastern Block. It's no sleep till Dresden. Bam, 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 no sleep till Dresden. And so our engine appears to be having some fairly major issues, and so we need to have a look at that. My game lags really badly at night. Uh, it just does that. It's it's not something that I'm really like in control of or anything like that. It just kind of does it. Well, it looks like we have a problem. We'll need a repair kit to make the repairs. Grab one out of the trunk. Good, because that's why I brought it. Come here, trunk. Hmm. Repair kit. So you found the engine repair kit. Now I just use the repair kit on the broken components. Okay. So I'm thinking we probably want to use it on the engine, right? You must understand something. Relationships thrive on the gift of attention. Fail to understand this and you'll soon find yourself alone. The same can be said about the bond between mechanic and machine. This is very important, so remember this. Oh, okay. That should keep her going a little while longer. Uh, I'll probably fix the carburetor too while I'm down here. Fuel tank looks alright. It wants me to repair it, but it seems okay to me. We should probably fill up on gas while we're in the neighborhood, too. It probably would be a prudent idea. I don't want everybody to know about my ridiculous stock of drugs that I've got in the back of the car. Seriously, I have so much drugs in the back of the car right now. I have utterly absurd quantities of drugs in the back of my car. What's inside this building here? Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick what you need off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. You can pull that lever to cancel the transaction. Okay. Gotcha. Stoff. They have... That looks like... What are those? Wieners? I think those are wieners. Non-refrigerated wieners. We've got some oil. We've got a bunch of water bottles. We've got some freebie tires right here. Although those are kind of beat up. They've got 100 or 450 kilonewtons to dry traction or something. I don't know. We've got toolboxes which sell for 15 bucks. We probably want more of those later on. What is all this shit right here? What is this? Oh, it's coffee. Okay, so can we sneak coffee across the border if we want to? We've also got some ciggies right there. Yep, that's what I remember about the 80s and 90s. Everybody smoked. Everybody smoked. There was like this smell of the 80s that I can't describe to anybody who wasn't there. It smelled like restaurant, like deep fried food and cigarette. That's what the 80s smelled like. When you went into any restaurant. Oh, yeah. Shit. I closed the... I closed the... I closed our frunk again. Let's go ahead and open that on a... Stop messing games with me. Why are you playing games with my heart right now? Quit playing games with my heart. Oh, this is going to get expensive, isn't it? Oh, they closed the gate behind you so that you can't leave. All right. We'll put that back over there so that looks good. We've refueled that. I brought the oil thing with me, so we need to put some more oil in this thing so that it's still got the optimal oil build or whatever. I've only got a little bit of oil left, so unfortunately... This is not, like, a long-term solution, but is my bottle empty now? <laughs> ah, my bottle is empty! Is it empty? It's empty! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna litter. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think we had $100 in the wallet in the car. Let me close that off. What's that gonna cost me inside? It's gonna cost me... Five Deutschmarks. Okay. I had a bunch of Deutschmarks that a guy gave me a Blockbuster video one time. He's like, can I pay you in Deutschmarks? And I was like, shit, your rental's free. Just give me the Deutschmarks. I just like the way that they look. They look cool. I don't get to see foreign money very often because, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, I'm poor. Can I sell stuff to her? Like, what if I take drugs in here? And I'm like, hey, girl, you want to get some pick-me-up? What you want? What you need? You're trying to get yourself a little bit of an upper? A little bit of a downer? What you need? You need grams? Pills? Injections? What you need? Oh shit, I can sell her drugs? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm selling you some drugs, don't worry about it. Drug dealer, I'm out here hustling. Cause it's hard out here for a pimp. When you're trying to get the money for the rent. And the Cadillac of gas money spent. There'll be a whole lot of homies talking shit. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Oh my god, and thus I began my career as an Eastern European drug dealer. Alright, so we're going to need to go ahead. We're going to have to bribe the magistrate because that's just how things work back then. You bribed everybody. I have a friend that lived in the Eastern Bloc and talked about it. He's like, you bribed everybody just so you wouldn't pay taxes and stuff on everything. And he said, basically, you grease the wheels. You make it happen. Oh, we're about to make money. About to make money. 
This is dope. Come holler at your neighborhood drug supply. I got everything that the addicts love to buy. Call me MD and I'm hotter than Cholula. Messing with my money, I'ma stick the tool to ya. Where do we get a gun in East Germany? East Germans, help me get a gun. We need one to defend our earnings. There we go, perfect. Oh my god, that is... We gotta round that decimal point off, lady. See, this could become a very complicated transaction. This could become very, very complicated. Where my wallet at? Granddad, hook me up with the wallet. Oh man, you're gonna pass it to me? It's gonna be like that, huh? And I thought we were friends. And I thought we were friends. Let's take our let's take our Deutschmarks inside and see if we can get ourselves paid. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Alvita Zane. Oh, we got $187 right now. Alvita Zane. I already talked about this before, but like we should probably. Hmm. What do we need to buy, though? Like, we don't have contraband or anything, I don't think. Like, what would we need? We've got wieners over here. Do we have to eat those? Like, do we have to feed ourselves during this whole thing? Man, it's been a while since I walked around with this much cash. I don't use cash anymore. Cash is a thing that I never have. I just have credit cards. And so anytime I have, like, an abundance of cash in my hand, like 40 bucks and ones or something, I'm just like, what do I do with this? Eh, this transaction, it's so messy. You're giving me coins and all kinds of weird shit happening? Feels like I'm back in the 80s all over again. Well, I don't know if I should buy anything. Like, maybe a toolkit, and maybe I should fill up. Yeah, let's buy a toolkit. So I'll take the toolkit over here, just in case. No, here, give, no, give her the toolkit. Damn it. There we go, the toolkit. Uh, what happens if I just run out the front door with the toolkit? Is it, do they have, as long as I have a balance, they just keep the gate shut so I can't leave? Gotta get into a giant shootout with the Dresden police. How do you say thug life in German? Hold on. <laughs> oh. Guten Morgen. Okay. So. Give me that. Hooray! And yeah, they open the gate back up. Okay, so we got two toolkits right now. That should keep us rocking. I kind of want to fill up. Don't put the wallet in the trunk. That doesn't go there. Here, drop that so it goes where it's supposed to go. And it just levitates back on home to wherever it needs to be. Can I only have one of these? Oh, I can only have one of them. Okay. So let's pop the front again. And then we'll just fix that last thing. There we go. So now we're all taken care of. And then with my little gas thing, can I fill that up? Like, like let's say that I drop this right here. Can I take this and go like this? How do I fill this back up? Hmm. There's got to be like a specific spot that I've got to target in order to get it to work. That's how it is in everything in this game. Like it's like the fuel thing or... Hmm. I got problems. I got problems right now. I have issues here. Take this. There we go. Give me a $10 credit, and then I will just take the full one. I saw somebody else do this in their video where they could fill theirs up, but obviously mine doesn't feel like filling up right now. It doesn't feel like filling up right now, so we're just going to have to do this the hard way. Forget it. It doesn't matter. I'm not that upset about it. It's just $20, I mean. It's not like we're ever going to need that money again. I mean, we had a very successful drug deal, so I figure we can splurge a little bit. Technically, though, we sold a lot of pills. I think we might be lowballing it a little bit. We might be lowballing it a little bit. I mean, you figure it's like 60 pills to a bottle. Normally, you sell like 11 per pill, maybe 12 per pill. Buy it like 4 to 5 per pill. We should have made a lot more money here. We should have made more money. But this is not like drug education 101 with Splattercat. This is apparently the drug market out here in Dresden is rough. Let's be on our way. I think we've got everything done here. We've refueled the car. Everything's looking good. We don't have any oil. But I don't think we're going to need it, so... 
Let's ro- oh yeah. Ignition. That's how this works. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna flip a bitch in this tiny little place. Ugh. This is Grand Theft Auto all over again. Don't hit the giant explosive gas. No! I hit the giant explosive gas tank. It was my badsies. I didn't mean to, but it happened. It happened. So how do I turn on my headlights here? Ah, there we go. Headlights are flickery. That concerns me. That concerns me a lot. Is there anything over here? That thing's up on blocks, but hold on. Let me pull off the road real quick. Let's investigate this. Doesn't look like there's anything inside the trunk. Is there anything in the car we can steal? Aha! A portly carbolite fuel tank. A portly 22 liter fuel tank should be mixed with two stroke oil carbolite for quality conditioning. It adds to weight, but it gives us more fuel. He's also got an extra stock water tank that's busted. I'll take this. Maybe. Hmm. Do I not have room? Shit. I don't know how much fuel it has in it. Hmm, I wonder if I can sell it then. No! My fuel tank! I mean, it's got three out of four, which is the same durability as what's in our car, so... How much fuel does it have in it, though? Is it full? It's got four liters of fuel with no oil mix. I think I can make this work. Hold on. I get in the car, I take that, I close the door, I turn the car on, we take the wheel, oh, we got this now, we got this now, I need to go back this way though, we're going to sell it to this lady. Don't drive on the gas, but I'm sorry. Don't Ooh, shit. Don't drive on the grass, by the way. It makes your granddad very upset with you. This would help if I could see what the hell I'm doing. But I'm selling this gas tank, damn it. We are making money today. We're stocking up on cash for the rest of this journey. This wondrous, magical journey that we're about to be on. Alright, so turn that off. Nah, we ain't gotta refill the car right now. It'll be fine. I mean, I suppose we could. We could just, like, install the upgrade. I wonder what happens to the rest of the fuel inside the tank when you do the upgrade. Hmm. I wonder if we get reimbursed for it. That's got eight liters inside of it. That one's got four. Three. Put that back in, will you? I will in a minute. Hold on. Although that's got no oil mix either, so this could technically get kind of expensive. Yeah, we'll sell this one. It'll be fine. Everything's going to work out great. And then we'll get the oil and everything else we need to. Here, take this from me. I know you desire it in your huge stack of shit that we've just purchased. Where is the oil at? Excuse me, madame. Oh, there it is. There's the oil. And then I'm going to fill up at the gas tank, too, real fast. Although I don't know if that's going to reach. we got to pull it around a little bit better. I wasn't planning on doing this. This thing's got some giddy-up when you go backwards. The bonnet is not loose. It is of good moral character. Calm down, Granddad. I know you can't say stuff like that anymore. You're not allowed to judge people based on the way they purport themselves in their personal lives anymore. It's not 1912. Oh, it holds 22 liters? Holy shit, this is going to be amazing. 
We're never gonna have to fill this thing up. This is gonna be expensive, though. I can tell already. Yeah, I think that was worth it. This entire episode was just me messing with a gas tank. You realize that? This entire episode was just me fiddling with a gas tank. And then I need the wallet, granddad. I wish you could just carry the wallet with you. It would make this simpler. Like, I get it for immersive reason, reasons, but... Alright, so let's make our purchase, and then we'll finally be on the road again. 17 bucks. Done. Slot that cred stick, chummer. Alright, now I got my oil. I'm gonna drop the wallet back in there. We definitely have to, like, mix this up right here. There we go. We got our optimal oil mix, so that's all ready to go. Why won't it go in there? There we go. Hmm. Apparently I can get into the car with a sponge. I don't know why I would, but apparently I can. Is the back open? Ah, there's so many problems right now that need to be fixed. When did car ownership become so complicated? Apparently at some point after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Oh, dude, my headlights are out now, too. I was going to say, they should just run off the engine. Like, there should be no drain on the battery for this, unless there's, like, serious things wrong. Then again, look at our vehicle. Chances are there's serious things wrong. Back up over this grass right here. Let's get back on the road. Forget this. It's time for road trips, granddad. Going out the end go. Where's the radio at? We need some tunes. There we go. We'll turn that light on so I can see a little bit better. Eh, maybe we won't. It seems dangerous. I don't want to distract other drivers with my sexy visage. I'd be looking inside my car and I'm like, ah, I'm blinded by beauty. The 11 out of 10 is real. So the game has a shader issue right now. Apparently this happened this morning when the developers updated the game. But all the lights look purple. You know, I did this journey the other way around many years ago. When I was much younger and names didn't escape me so easily. The world was a lot less turbulent back then. I was like World War II, man. No, it wasn't. Everybody likes to think the past was better than where we are right now. But for real, the past sucked every single bit as much as now does. This is going to make driving very difficult. This is troublesome. This is very troublesome. I wonder when morning's going to get here, because I don't know if I can drive like this long term. Somebody wants to pass me. Go ahead. Go around. Go around, you dick. There we go. I can deal with that. It's just when the lights are hella prevalent that I can't deal. Oh, those ones are working. I remember there was a destroyed bridge in Starovo. It crossed all the way over from Hungary, but nobody would use it. I wonder if anybody ever rebuilt it. I heard they had a bridge that crosses the entire Bosporus. What a sight that must be. Go around! Turkey must be so different now. Eh, turkey tastes the same to me. I don't think it's changed that dip. Like, some of the lights don't work. They turn purple for some reason. It's a known issue. The developers have tried to patch it like three times a day. And they fixed like half the lights. They just haven't fixed all of them yet. So, that might be an issue that comes up kind of frequently. Just be aware. It's going to happen from time to time. So... Driving with Granddad Simulator seems to be going okay right now. I don't see any treasures on the side of the road that we could sell for big amounts of cash. With the border, I've got all the paperwork sorted here. You should need to worry. Just make sure we're not trying to take any contraband across the border. Life in the fast lane. The hell is going on over here? Is that guy dead? Oh my god, the highway was the same back then as it is now, too. I saw a lady get out of a car one time after a car accident. There was a car accident, she got out of the car, and then she just, like, sprayed blood everywhere. Like, it was like something out of a horror movie. Like, she got out of the car, took two steps, and then just went, Bleh! and just, like, vomited blood everywhere. And I was like, oh, I don't think she's gonna make it. And then she dropped, and the paramedics ran up, and I was like, oh, shit. Well, then, I'm gonna need to go home and get some eye bleach there. I figured they probably didn't want me to stop in the middle of the highway and help, so I didn't. Paramedics were already there, so I figured it was all right. Hold on. Kill the engine real fast. We got stuff over here. Hopefully it's not contraband. Hopefully it's just like assorted goodies. Let's go check, though. Oh, this one's got a lock on it. So how do you get the lock open? 
Huh. Never seen that before. I hope it's not banned for some Contras. Put it in the car. Can I not put it in here? Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I get this thing inside the car. And I'm sorry that it's kind of dark right now. I can't do anything about that. It is what it is. So now we got that. Oh, it don't want to go in there, do it? Well, damn. Apparently, it only likes to go on that side right there. Well, I would rather have my utilities than some random bullshit box of... Hey! Watch where you're driving, you douche! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm pulled off on the side of the road, and you've still managed to strike me with your vehicle. You putz. Apparently, people around Dresden drive just as... Oh, yeah, off-road over the top of my vehicle. That's great. That's great. I hope your insurance premiums go up and you can't buy food. Oh, and I got the penalty for it? I'm on the side of the road. That guy doesn't know how to drive. Oh, man, this is why people got dash cams. That's why people got dash cams in Russia. Ain't that a bitch. All right, let's be on our way. Granddad, this sucks. I'm upset at everything, and I hate my life. Turn the headlights on and let's do this thing. Let's get up and out of here before more idiots hit us on the side of the road. In the parking space on the side. Dicks. This is why we're leaving. This is why we're going to Czechoslovakia. Forget it. Traffic is too bad. Going to Czechoslovakia. So, this is relaxing. There's the town. You should head straight for the motel. Be more careful. Alright, let's head for the motel. Hold on. I'm working on it. Roundabouts are confusing. We'll cross into the CSFR tomorrow morning. They really aren't. Roundabouts are the shit. I love them. They're starting to install them in the United States now. We've got five or six around where I live. And they're so much better than stoplights. Oh my god. I like them so much better. Sure, you get flipped off a lot more. But there's always going to be idiots that don't understand how to use a system that's been implemented. So where's the hotel at? Oh, it's the giant building that says motel on the side. Okay. What's the difference between a motel and a hotel? I assume one has mo of tells and the other has far more prostitutes. Let's park out front. Okay, let's park out front then. Do I have to be like inside the lines? Does it matter? Who puts a parking bench in the middle of the parking area? I'm sorry, who puts a lunch bench in the middle of a parking area? Okay, good. Let's check in. This is going to cost me money, isn't it? I can tell. This is going to get expensive. Oh, you could open the dumpsters at the other place. I can't open the dumpsters here. Damn, that's a beat-ass door. I'll worry about the car in the morning. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to get frame drops when I go into cities. I don't know why it happens. It just does. It's part of the game. It's an early access. Welcome. Will you be staying with us tonight? It's 20 for a room. That's not too terrible. Oh, my God. You didn't bring the wallet, Granddad? You're going to hitch a ride all the way to Dresden, and you're not going to chip in or contribute? Maybe he's the one that put a hundred inside the wallet. Who knows? Grandparents do these things. All right, so 135. We still broke even with our massive drug deal. We still broke even. 1B just down the hall. Let's intelligently... We kindly ask you not to disturb other guests during your stay. So this is 1A. I'll be in the room if you need me. Put that back in the car because obviously nobody's going to try and steal our $115. This is 2A... 2B, 2C, hey, where in the hell, by the way, this is a creepy ass motel, I don't feel good about this, I feel like my chance of getting bed bugs is going up exponentially, oh, she gives me the key, she's holding a key, gotcha, what is this stuff right here, why can't I touch it, can I touch this phone, so this goes to 1B, apparently I had to get the key, immersiveness is not my strong suit, Yay! Let me get my key back, yo. Whatever. Bedtime! So I have to eat any wieners or anything while I'm out here? It's just a question. Apparently we're in Hungary.
Can I use the bathroom? Oh. Ew, somebody didn't flush. There's Wee Wee in here. Housekeeping needs to do a better job. Do a better job, housekeeping. Maybe it just stays in the door. I don't know. We'll leave it there. It's time for us to go, though. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Jalopy, which is kind of a weird minimalist game in all honesty. Granddad's back in the car. we got some repairs we got to do in the next episode anyways. So I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.